Hello, I'm so glad that you came to church today. When you come to Victory Kids, that you learn that God loves you unconditionally. That means that He loves you no matter what. We're continuing a series about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a special gift that Jesus promised us. He is our helper and our comforter, our protector and our friend, and He gives us courage and power. We are going to learn more about the Holy Spirit and how God wants us to receive Him into our lives. We can get to know God by coming to church and hearing stories of people from the Bible. Today's story can be found in the book of Acts. Acts is in the New Testament of the Bible, which means it happened after Jesus was born. It goes Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and then Acts. So our story is all about Philip, and Philip was one of Jesus' disciples. He preached the good news of Jesus in many different places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip and said, Go south down the desert road. So he did this, and on his journey, he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. A treasurer is a man who is in charge of all the money. So the Ethiopian had gone to Jerusalem to worship and was returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading aloud the book of Isaiah. Philip was walking past him when the Holy Spirit said to him, Go over and walk along beside the carriage. Philip ran over and heard him reading. He asked, Do you understand what you're reading? The Ethiopian replied, How can I unless someone teaches me? He then urged Philip to come into his carriage with him and sit with him. The Ethiopian asked Philip, Tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So, beginning this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian of the good news about Jesus. As they came to some water, the Ethiopian said, Look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He then ordered his carriage to be stopped. Philip and the Ethiopian went down to the water and Philip baptized him. When he came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. So, today we learned about Philip. Philip was a man that just knew Jesus, and he told someone about Jesus. Now, Philip was just a normal guy, but he believed in Jesus and was filled with the Holy Spirit. So, because Philip was filled with the Holy Spirit, he received the power. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we are filled with power, that, and that power can help us in many ways. And one of those ways is to give us the courage to talk to others and tell them about Jesus. Have you ever heard someone say that they just can't tell people about Jesus because they're too scared, they're not good at talking, or they don't know how to? But the Bible tells us in Acts verse 1-8 that you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on to you and that you will be my witness telling people everywhere about Jesus. So the Bible also tells us that the Spirit of God does not give us the Spirit to be afraid or timid, but He gives us power and love and self-discipline. I encourage you to share your faith with other people. Trust the Holy Spirit to give you the courage and the power to tell others about how much Jesus loves them. All right, boys and girls, did you know that there are so many people who don't know God, but they can get to know Him by you bringing them to church or by you telling them how much Jesus loves them? The Holy Spirit will always help us to be brave and help tell others about Jesus' love. All right, boys and girls, that's all for today. 